The other pineapple's right here, turned around. Tula, I know what I'm doing here. Don't say anything. Let's get started with the project for today. You got it. I'll put on the screensaver and we can start. Hello, Hello my friends. friends. The project for today is very easy and it comes out nice. Yes, multicolored dinosaurs. Not exactly, Talmo. We're talking about multicolored bottles. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. That's going to be fun, too. Let's go over the materials we're going to need. A bottle made of transparent glass with a cap. Fine salt. Different colored chops. Four little cups of small containers. Very fine sandpaper. A sheet of paper. And some scissors. Now let's get started. We fill up the little cup halfway with salt. We choose four different colors of chalk and we grate them with the sandpaper. A different color for each one. Then we mix the chalk with the salt. Hold on, Tamil, don't start yet. I'm going to do a trick. Oh yeah, that's great. I'm going to use three of these little cups we have. See? The three of them are empty. Nothing over here, nothing over there. I line them up upside down on top of the table. Now I break a little piece of chalk and I put it underneath the one in the middle. I'm going to move the little cups without lifting them off the table and you have to tell me which one it is. Where's the magic in that? In that, my hands will be faster than your eyes and you won't know where the chalk is. Impossible! My eyesight is faster than lightning speed. Let's do one to give it a try. We move the middle one to the left and then switch it to the right. Oops, another change. Now this one goes here and the other goes there. We put this one back in the middle and that's it. Tell me, Chalma, where's the chalk? Right here, I'm sure of it. Are you sure? Well, pick up the cup yourself. Oh no, it's not here. Well, this was just a tryout. Why don't you do it again? This time I'll use my superpowers to find where it is. All right, because now I'm going to do it really fast. Are you ready, Telmo? Super ready now! All right, Telmo, whenever you say. Super Telmo says it's underneath the cup in the middle. Whoa! You have lost. The chalk is under the one in the right. <gasps> Well, where did it go? I don't know what could have happened. Let's continue with the project. I'm gonna fill up the cups with salt. And I'll put colors in them. The cup with the four colors is now ready to go. And we're going to see what the next step is. We make a funnel with the sheets of paper so we can pour the salt inside the bottle by rolling the sheet of paper as though we were making a paper cone. We put a little bit of adhesive tape so that it doesn't fall apart on us. This is super easy. Will you let me make the funnel? Of course, I'll start cutting the tape. Can you pass me a piece of tape, please? Yes, take it, but don't let it fold. <laughs> Well, it's on the tip of your nose. How on earth did it end up there? That piece is no good anymore. Throw it away and I'll give you another one. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should hold the funnel with both hands and I'll put the piece of tape on it. All right, thank you. Now 
we just need to do the last part of the project. It's time to fill up the bottle. We pour a little bit of each color in order to make layers. We tilt the bottle a little bit every time and we add a layer so that they don't all look the same. We add the layers of color until we fill up the whole bottle. Then we top the bottle off with a cork and a cap. This part is the most fun. Tamil, you choose one color and I'll choose another and we'll start filling the bottle. I'll do Duh! red! I'm not deaf. This funnel is great to use as a loudspeaker. I'm gonna give it another go. Grown up! I'm sorry, grown up. I was trying out my loudspeaker. What? Or like the watermelons? It turned out wonderful! There are thousands of different colors and shape combinations. And you can pick different kinds of bottles or containers. See you, See you soon, soon, my, my friends! friends. to a costume party? <laughs> Tomo, I don't understand a single word you're saying. Ooh, no. I've been looking for ideas for today's project. In the ocean? Yes, because today we're going to make colored fish. And the ocean is the best place to study them. Can you show me your notes? Yes, of course. Well, I don't think my notebook is waterproof. Well, don't worry about it. Take off the equipment and let's look at the materials we need. <laughs> Telmo! Colored pencils. Fishing string. Glue. Scissors. Adhesive tape. Light poster board. Tamo, take off that suit. You won't be able to do the project like that. Now let's get started. We draw the outline of a fish on a white poster board. We also draw two fins with flaps, but separated from the body. We cut the outline of the fish on the poster board and the fins. We draw in the details on both sides. I'm gonna draw a dolphin, a whale, and an orca. And I will draw two fish, many colors, and a Telmo. What do you mean a Telmo? I'm not a fish. But of course you are. No, no I'm not. Well, you just got hooked like a fish. <laughs> are you talking about my girlfriend? Yes. Have you already told her, by the way? Yes. And what did she say? She said yes, and she gave me a kiss. Well, that's nice, right? No. No. No, because I've never had a girlfriend and I don't know what to do with girlfriends. What do you do with girlfriends? Well... Yes, what do I do with my girlfriend to make her happy? Give her presents, say nice things to her, spoil her a lot, kiss her at least once a day. And that is all? No, that's just the beginning. Then it gets complicated, but you learn as you go. Hey, 
Hey, what do girlfriends do for you? Well, they accept the presents, they let you spoil them, and they kiss you back if they're in a good mood. Well, I don't think that's a fair exchange. It is what it is. That reminds me that I have to make two of each fish. And why? Because we have to split up all the assets. <laughs> well, get with it because you have double the work. In the meantime, let's look at the second part of our project. We color the fish and fins with different colored pencils. We fold the flaps of the fins and we stick them on both sides of the fish with glue. Then we let them dry for a while. I don't know what color to paint my fish since I lost my nose. Doesn't matter. In any case, you don't have a fish ready to be painted. What do you mean? I have three fishes already. I don't see any fish. One, two, and three. See, there are three. Are you sure? Arr, Tula, stop it. I've got enough with my girlfriend already because she always wants to be right. The dolphin, the whale, and the orca are not fish. They're mammals. Oops, and furthermore, we studied them in school not too long ago. Hey, please don't tell my girlfriend. Relax, I won't tell her anything. It will be our secret. Do I have to do them over again? No, silly, you can paint them. After all, they all live in the ocean. Let's look at the last part of the project. We cut various pieces of fishing string in different lengths. We tape one end of the string to the middle of the fish and we stick the other end to the ceiling with tape. Let's call Grown Up so he can help us hang them from the ceiling. Shall we play Go Fish before we do that? And how do you play that? Well, I get a fish pole and then I get up on the table, which will be my boat. You grab two fish, one in each hand, and you move them like they were swimming. How complicated. I propose something more fun. What? Fishing for Paquito. For Paquito? I like that. But how will we do that? You'll see. Go get Paquito. I'm going to get a large cardboard box. Place Paquito inside the box. All right. I've tied a hazelnut to the string. Tula, my little sweetheart, will you let me fish? All right, get up on the table. He won't bite. Hold on, be patient. Yeah, yeah, he bit it. I can't handle him. I'm gonna have to use my super strength. Super tumbling. Whoa. That little rodent fish has gotten away from me. Well, we'll try it again later on. For now, let's hang up the fish. Oof, this is really complicated. Yes, we should call Grown Up so that he can help us. Grown, grown Up! Can you come, come here, here and help, help us, us, please? please? Up, can you help us hang these colored fish? We now have our own aquarium. And if we blow on them, they'll move as if they're swimming. Motion for this? What do you mean for this? 
Have you ever seen anything like this before? Look at the curves it has and the bumper. What a cool bumper it has. I'm wishing that I was a grown-up Tell Tell that's enough. That's not like the first car you've ever seen. I never won like this before. And guess what grown-up said to me? What? That when he was young, he was a race car driver. Can you imagine growing up in a competition? When I grow up, I want to be a driver just like growing up in... Tulo, what are you doing to Paquito? Paquito, don't move. If Tamo's a race car driver, I'm an airplane pilot and I'm going to teach you how to fly. Oh yeah? Well, 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 I'll be a space rocket pilot. I've got it. What, where, when, and how? Today, we're going to make space rockets! And that way, we can teach Paquito how to fly in a rocket, and I'm sure he'll love it. Paquito, there's no need to get carried away. You'll travel through space, see thousands of galaxies. You'll see how much fun you're going to have. Find yourself in danger, many battles you will liberate. And then you will become Paquito the Great. You will become Paquito the Great. Paquito the Great is what you will become. Tula, what do we need to do in order to make this super rocket? The materials we need are the following. One carton tube from a kitchen roll. Three carton tubes from toilet paper. Newspaper. Different color paint. Paint brushes. White super glue. Scissors. White poster board. And a pencil. Do we need so many materials? Yes, we need to be very careful because we might get dirty, especially you, Talmo. Huh? Let's cover the table with newspaper while we explain the first steps we're going to take. We make a ball out of the newspaper and we put it inside the carton tube from the kitchen roll. It will be the body of our rocket. In order to make the motors, we put three carton tubes from the toilet paper underneath the kitchen roll tube, each one equally distant from the other. We use a pencil to mark the two points where they touch the long tube and we make a little cut. Elmo, be very careful. The cuts need to be the same, otherwise the rocket will not stay up. Do you know what will happen if you mess up? No. The rocket will end up on an incline and its route will change and then you'll get lost in space. That's not going to happen. I have everything under control. Wait till you see these super motors that are very, very... Uh, Just say it already. Very super hyper mega fabulous. That's it. Tula. What do we have to do now? We're going to paint and decorate our rockets. We paint the rocket one color and the motors another color. We create the rocket accessories while we wait for it to dry. We cut a large circle on the poster board and we cut from the edge to the center. We slide one side along of the poster board over the other until we have the shape of a cone. And we fasten it with a little bit of scotch tape. And that way we have the head of the rocket. We make the wings by cutting the two triangles of poster board and we bend one side of the triangle a little bit so we can glue it on. Tula, will you help me glue on the cone? Yes, of course. Tula, I said glue on, not paint on. All right. Paquito, what have you done? Paquito, now it's enough. Just stay still, please. You're staining everything. Oh. You are so hard-headed, Telmo. Yeah, grown-up always tells me that. We should probably call him in and see if he'll help us clean this up. Grown-up! Wow! wow! Awesome super velocity! I'm sure when you competed, you were the fastest driver. Hello, grown-up. The thing is, we've had a few minor problems with our rocket. Would you help us clean this disaster up? And in the meantime, we'll figure out how to finish our rocket. We use the super glue to add the wings and the head. Once the paint on the rocket is completely dry, we paint the rocket whatever colors we want. We 
add strips of red and yellow cellophane and we stick them on with tape inside the motor so that it looks like there's flames coming out. It's turned out wonderful! That's it! It just needs one more thing! I will finally make my dream come true! I will cross the oceans of the universe in search of adventure! Houston, we have a problem. What? I don't fit inside there, it's too small for me. Of course, this rocket's for Paquito. Look at the adorable suit I bought him. Come on, help me just Paquito so we can take off. Wonderful. Well, where could he have gone? Paquito! 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 the email that I got from my friend Tito. Tito sent you an email? Yes, what's the matter? No, nothing, nothing. I think it would be best if you used your imagination to think about a project rather than strange things. But how do you know what I'm thinking of? And besides, I can't think of anything to do for today. I know what we can do today. We're going to make stuffed toys. Say what? Yeah, you know, plush toys. Awesome! That way I can make a little friend for Dino! Ooh, ooh. And will yours be for Tito? Tamo, that's enough! Let's have a look at the materials we need. Different colored wool. Scissors. A pencil. Poster board. Can you please tell me what you're doing? Don't you see? I'm measuring dino. It's fundamental for my project. I don't think you're clear mm -hmm. on this. Stuffed toys are very small and round. We can't make them shape into a dino. My stuffed toy will be the coolest, largest, and most fearsome on the world. He and I will dominate the world, and you'll do everything I tell you. And where will you get so much wool for your super stuffed toy? I bought 760 pounds of wool. You'll make a mess with so much wool, Telmo. I'm Super Tomo. I won't make a mess. Fine. Let's start with the first thing we're going to do. We draw two identical circles on the poster board, the size of a bowl. Then we draw a smaller circle in the middle with the help of a cup. Then we cut them with scissors. Telmo, can you go into the kitchen and get two bowls and two cups? Right away. Tula, are you sure the bowls are in the kitchen? Of course, where else would they be? The thing is, I can't find them. Ooh, ooh. Did you look in the first cupboard? Of course, that's the first thing I did. How strange. Maybe Grown Up knows where they are. <laughs> grown Up, have you seen the bowls? Wow, don't worry about it, Grown Up. Do you mind if we take two bowls and two cups? I'm sure you can make another rocket with, I don't know, with the pots. Thank you. Tula, 
Can you please tell me what you did with my poster board? But I didn't do anything with it. Could it be that you used it for another project? Impossible. I would have remembered. Well, you still have a lot left. Something here is very strange, strange, strange. Do you really think I can make a stuffed toy? I'm sure you can make one the size of grown-up. And while we're finishing up, we're going to explain the next step. We grab some wool, whichever color we like, and we make a little ball. One that will fit in the hole of the poster board. We grab the two poster boards that we've cut, and we bring them together with the wool. We coil up the ball until it's covering the poster board. The more layers we make, the furrier the stuffed toy should be. Telmo, don't you think you've gone too far? Of course not. I want to make an enormous stuffed toy. But it won't go through the hole like that. It's better to make several layers, and if you use different colors, it will look very nice. No, I happen to like it like this. All right, whatever you want. Perkito, don't distract me because this requires a lot of concentration. You see, it doesn't go through. You just watch how I do it. Akito, can you please tell me what you're doing? Telmo, what are you up to? Not me, it's Paquito. He's not letting me do my project. Paquito, where'd you go? Paquito, come back. What? Of course, so now it's the hamster's fault. <laughs> That's what you get for making such a big ball. <laughs> Telmo, open your mouth, I can't understand you. Okay, okay, don't get worked up. I'll go call Grown Up. Grown Up! <laughs> grown Up, can you help me disentangle Telmo? Well, while we disentangle Telmo, let's take a look at the next step. We lean the circle of wood on the rim of a table and we hold it down in the middle with one hand. We cut the wool along the edge of the rim without lifting the circle off the table. We string a long piece of wool between the two poster boards and we make a knot. We take out the poster boards one by one very carefully. Then we knot the other end of the piece of wool and now we can hang it wherever we want. <laughs> it's turned out wonderful! If you want, you can decorate your stuffed toy by sticking pieces of poster board on them and making some eyes of wings or... A Telmo! Tula, that's not funny. I haven't been able to make a friend for Dino. But... Telmo, why would Dinah want another friend if he already has you? That's true! Ugh. As you can see, you can make all kinds of stuffed toys. One for your keys, one for your cell phone with a rubber band, one to annoy Telmo. Ouch! 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 Whoa. Okay, come on, I'll help you take off that wool. about how to make the project that Dino told me about for today. And may I know what he said to you? But of course, he told me today is the perfect day to make a dinosaur puppet. You wanna put your dino on strings? Yeah, I don't understand it either, but he told me it sounds good to him. Well then, I'm going to call Grown Up so he can help us make little holes. What? Of course, how do you plan on attaching strings to Dino? Have you gone crazy? This time I'm not gonna listen to you. Well then, today we can make... Come on, Tamil, use your super imagination! I know, let's make a puppet out of Paquito! Tamil, you'll never be able to control Paquito. You wait and see. 
Do you really think that's going to work? You leave this to me. Paquito! See? It works. And when he falls into the trap, I'll tie him up with the string and I'll turn him into my own puppet. You are too much of a dreamer. Paquito will never fall into a trap like that. Huh? You see? Tomo the Magnificent has triumphed. His gluttony has failed him. Don't resist, Paquito. It's best for you to accept your defeat and let me do this. Ha ha ha! So who has dominated you now? But how do you do that? Doesn't matter, I'll get him this time. <laughs> That's unfair. <laughs> All right, I'm going to help you. You know, I just thought of the perfect project. Is it a trap for rodents? No silly paper animals. I'll make an elephant. Well, well, I will make an army of thousands and thousands of animals. But then you wouldn't have time to make a snack. Well, all right. I'll only make 1,238. Let's get started with the materials we're going to need. Color poster board. Ooh. Scissors. Color markers. One ruler. One pencil. Can you tell me what's wrong with you, Telmo? My pencil seems to be missing. Somebody took it from me. Yeah, of course. Let's see where you left it this time. This time, I'm sure that I... Huh? You should really thank Paquito for having found your pencil. Look at what he's doing to it. Paquito's driving me crazy. He's always grabbing my things and then he breaks them. If you left them in their place, nothing would happen but to I them. But I do do that. I don't know how, but Paquito knows where my things are. Maybe he's a mutant hamster and we don't even know it. Let's get started with the first step we're going to take. We grab whichever colored poster we like. We draw a rectangle 20 centimeters long and 3 centimeters wide and we cut it out. We make the shape of an animal. To make an elephant, we roll it up. And to make a snake, we fold it in zigzags. Cool, I can't find the pencil sharpener. Hold on, I'll help you look for it. I've got it now. Tula? Corona? I know. Paquito? Telmo, cut it out. Let's get started. I'm going to find some super cool designs for my army of animals. And I'll put a ton of watchdogs in the cage with Paquito. This is... Uh, <clears throat> but what's wrong with this? It used to work before. Telmo, you won't get anywhere like that. I don't understand anything. I'm going to ask Grown Up for the laptop. Hello, Grown Up. Will you let me... Forget I asked. Paquito, Tula, say something to him. Let's see if he'll listen to you. Tamo, you need to treat him with kindness. Come on, Paquito. Be good and leave Tamo alone for once. You see how it wasn't that difficult? That's what I would call luck. You're finally working. We're grown up. It's working now. Do you really need it? All right, but be careful with what you do, okay? Come on, Tamo. Let's go to the next step so you can finish making your super army. We draw the outlines of the heads on the poster board. We cut along the edge of the outline. We decorate the faces with pieces of colored poster board. We use the markers to make the tiniest little details. Then we put the glue on the head and one on the end of the body and we bring the two pieces together. I knew it. Come on, Tumble, you already have a lot of figures. Let's finish decorating them. I'm gonna paint the pupils and the eyes black and then I'll use the green marks to make the eyelids. I can make the pupils, and I'll use the blue marker to make the wrinkles in the chunk. All right, so what are you going to do with your army now? I'm going to spread them all over my room. That way, they'll make sure that nobody ever grabs my things again. And how would they tell you if they can't talk? <laughs> well, because they will tell Dino, and he will tell me. There you go again with Dino. But before, I should train my army. What? <laughs> Gentlemen, you have been created with the best of the best. You are pride and joy of all projects. Tamo, you are so tragic. Your mission shall be to protect the key places of my things and make sure nobody takes them. Many of you will not survive. But you can be proud of the fact that you will be the pleasure of defending all things belonging to Zelmo. Dino is your commander. Obey everything he tells you to do. Did you finish already? Sir, yes, sir! 
I mean to say yes. Come on, Tula. Don't just stand there. Help me. Tula, the dragon doesn't go there. 